keep playing gently. It's nice. Thank you, Lord. I wanted to share with you a testimony. And as you know, all of us are the sheep of his pasture, God's pasture. And he's our shepherd. He's the true shepherd. And uh, we, re we read the song that says, we're changed by his love. Whether you think it or not, whatever you have decided for the new year, whatever you're anticipating for the new year, God's love changes us every day, every day, even if we don't notice it. And um, I wanted to share New Year's Eve. I wrote this down because the Lord really spoke to me through this testimony and I felt I needed to share it. I wrote, today Christmas, Christmas Eve morning, I went for a walk around the lodge where I was this, that Christmas. I set out to walk around the lake. It was 12 degrees, mild, but very windy. The treetops were swinging, waving, like an, a wave offering, actually. The branches were cracking, and some had even fallen on my path. 30 feet away in front of me, branches were cracking and falling. Yet I was at peace. I could feel the majesty of the Lord. The clouds were racing along as I brought several subjects in prayer before the majesty of his presence. I committed my future, my family, each one by name, my finances, my giftings, in service to him, my desires, my retirement, my pressing decisions in the near future for 2016. I'm sure you all did that. I reiterated my love and devotion, my willingness to serve him for his glory, and I committed to him my desire, all the desires I had. I reminded him of his promise for salvation for my children, and I decreed his character, his love for me. I was reminded of the Christ coming as a lonely baby filled, a lowly baby filled with innocence, purity, helplessness, without fault, lovable, but coming to earth for me. I then asked him to help me and guide me and give me wisdom to make right decisions regarding the future. All this time I was speaking in tongues and I felt surrounded by his love and goodness. Everything around me felt majestic. Suddenly, out of nowhere, two female sheep showed up at my side. They had yellow tags stapled on their ears with numbers, and they had collars. And as I walked by, they walked alongside me, and I spoke to them, and they'd listen. They were following me to the inn. I was humbled and imagined being on my way to the inn to see the Christ child accompanied by sheep. What an honor. God speaks in mysterious ways. And at that moment, I felt God speaking to my spirit, saying, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I believe the Lord was telling me that I was his sheep. I belonged to him. He was my shepherd. He knew me, and he took care of me, and I heard his voice. I need not worry about what decisions I would have to make, because he would direct me, and I would follow his directions regarding decisions for the future. While I was yet on my way to the inn, several cars came alongside, not wanting to sh scare the sheep on the road, not wanting to hurt them. They were sure the sheep belonged to me. They believed they saw the sheep would stay by me, and they listened when I spoke to them. And they got out of their cars, and they asked where they came from, where we were going. 
they too were amazed and they inquired and patted the sheep and they took pictures of us while another car stopped and seeing the sheep obviously had wandered and gotten lost they called for the police to get the proper help to bring them back to their owner by now three cars had stopped to look on and after some time they decided to leave and I was left alone with the two sheep <laughs> it was amazing because I was going on a road against the traffic and whenever cars would come by you know it's like I this this the sheep got skidded skittish and they ran into the road and I'd say you get back here you're not supposed to be in the road and they'd listen and they'd come it was just amazing by now three cars had stopped to look on and after some time they decided to leave and I was left I continued my walk towards the inn and when the passengers in the car had asked me what all this was about I answered them I believe there's a reason could it possibly be that they were following me to the end to see the Christ child after all it was the eve of the birth of the Christ child the one who would save his people from their sins and that's what I told those people passengers in the car and they wrote me an email after to say you taught us a lot because they asked us about the sheep they asked me and I said well you know they wander they're independent they do their own thing and they get lost but I said they only listen to the voice of their master that's what was interesting that morning I had read first Timothy 316 great is the mystery of godliness he who was revealed in the flesh was vindicated in the spirit beheld by angels proclaimed among the nations believed on in the world and taken up in glory this mystery was revealed starting with the birth of the Christ child with the purpose of being adopted in the family of God what a wonderful encounter with God's love he's still on the night of his birth calling us to be part of his family calling us to belong to be part of a great plan for humanity he's calling each of us into the fold to enter his arms of love he's a good father and we're loved by him and I wanted to share that because it was really really strong on my heart the Lord saying we are his sheep and we hear his voice and we've heard his voice again once again for coming here to this new place he's our shepherd and he will lead us we don't need to be afraid because he's leading us into the future for his greater purpose amen